Well, hey everybody. Um, this is just going to be a quick uh, tomato update, kind of a tomato harvest, I think. Um, we've had about a week of rain, and I, I said it in one of the last videos. Um, a lot of these big modern tomatoes that you see, when it starts raining really bad, um, I haven't had a problem with anything or any type of blight or anything like that until just the last day. I kind of noticed yesterday the leaves just started to start to turn yellow. Everything was nice and green two, three days ago. And you can actually see all the tomatoes in here now. And I caged these ones up. These are pineapple tomatoes. And I've got tons and tons and tons of them. But, yeah, some of them are starting to turn yellow. And the ones that are starting to turn yellow, I mean, these guys get so heavy. And these aren't a bright red tomato. These are actually like a, a yellow tomato that's got some red in it. Oh, sh shoot. If you can see that. I hope I didn't. All right. Look at the size of that tomato right there. That's huge. That's a freak of a tomato. Huh. And I mean, we've had some pretty wet, wet, wet weather. And you can see these plants are kind of just now starting to die. These are the other ones over here. And I've gotten some decent sized ones already out of here. And I'm, I mean, I'm starting to pick these now. We've got more rain in the forecast, so I know it's only going to get more wet. And uh, these tomato plants, they don't really like it when it's super wet like that. I mean, they might they like moisture, but, you know, they get late blight. And their leaves and everything just starts to rot right off, even the fruit. So, and I don't add anything to my soil. I just put the seeds in the ground and... And uh, these are these pineapple tomatoes. These are, I only grew these ones in the, the Galapagos Island tomatoes this year. And I normally don't grow these big tomatoes um, because they have issues, you know, they, um, they only produce a handful of tomatoes per plant. And uh, yeah, you get some nice, big, juicy, amazing looking tomatoes. I mean, if I just leave this in on my counter in the sun, it's going to be all red and rainbow colored. It'll be pretty cool. But there's a lot of issues with these giant tomatoes like that. Because that's not how tomatoes look like in the wild. They're really small. They're cherry tomatoes in the wild. Real small. Even smaller than cherry tomatoes. And, uh, I mean, these big tomatoes, they, there's a lot of maintenance required. You know, you got to have cages. you got to fence them up. you got to trellis them. You know, you got to... You got to put them through fencing, and there's a lot of there's a hundred different ways to grow a tomato. Um, but when you grow these cherry tomatoes, you can just let them spread like those Galapagos Island tomatoes do. I mean, they spread like pumpkins. But uh, here's some here's some pe peppers I just noticed. Got a bunch of little peppers in here. Oh, guys, I think there's probably should be some bigger ones down here. Let me see. I know I got a couple out of here already. Oh, there's one that ah, just fell right off my hand. <laughs> Look at that. A little bug got in there and ate this one. That's right. We can have some peppers grow back in the same spot next year. But I got four good sized tomatoes. And these pineapple tomatoes, they don't they don't turn red. They start to get like a like a red marble. And already that's that's as ripe as you want it to be right there. Just like that. And that's a funny looking tomato, man. <laughs> Um, but I know I got some other tomatoes hiding in here somewhere. Where are they? I think, I, I think they're back here. If I'm not mistaken. Because I ran out of cages, and I just kind of let some grow. Well, I see a giant zucchini hiding back there. I don't know if you guys can see that big thing right there, right in the middle of the screen. That big dark green. Oh. But, yeah, I see some tomatoes back there. <laughs> Bunch of weeds. Yeah, there's some tomatoes right down here. But, <clears throat> this is what we've got already so far. I grabbed a couple here. 
got another nice one over there it's nice and red and uh, I've also got some melons growing in here but these melons man they're touchy they're they're funny you know you really got to get them when they're perfectly ripe I've already lost about three or four melons already because I didn't get them at the right time and I've only gotten one so far and I posted some pictures on Facebook of it but um, they'll actually slip right off the vine when they're ripe and if you don't catch it right before like maybe the day before they do um, they'll, they're already starting to rot they're already starting to break down but here's some big old tomatoes here and yeah you can see these plants right here they're already starting to to die back they got they got blight or something oh here's one I could probably pick that one I think yeah and there's some giant ones over here too ooh that's not good I flipped that one around ooh there's all kinds of bugs inside of there moving around in there oh that's a bummer that would have been a nice pretty tomato too see you know the, the bugs know when they're ripe too you know when they're ready huh. all right I guess I'll save that one for seeds Yeah, here's the other one. And I dropped this one. This is the one I dropped. It was, it's the most ripe. This one's the ripest of all of them. It's a nice golden orange. It's got that red blush on the bottom. And it's so ripe when I dropped it, it just split. And it split right down the middle. So, I know I'm going to be eating that one right now. But, um, but yeah, this is a, a pineapple tomato. These are pineapples tomatoes. This is a pineapple tomato update. And it uh, looks like I probably got another couple dozen more tomatoes to go. You know, I've got these two here. I've got the four over there. So, you know, seven good-sized tomatoes. That's a good. That's a good haul. Good harvest. I only planted uh, four plants. Four plants of these guys. So, I planted like six Galapagos Island tomato plants over there. And they're just loaded bags and bags. I'm getting bags and bags and bags of tomatoes from these guys. And uh, here's what the amaranth is looking like. Looking very beautiful and tall. Sunflowers behind them. And uh, my squashes are starting to die back a little bit. You can see that. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's the end of August, so... You really can't be focusing on summer crops here, you know. Fall's right around the corner a couple weeks from now. And I uh, start thinking about uh, the cool weather veggies you can grow. Brassicas, leafy greens, you know, stuff like that. But thanks for watching, guys. Y'all take care.